My diagnosis is terminal cancer. They could not operate on unoperable. They gave me six to nine months, nine months with chemo, six without, but I'm gonna stretch that nine the long ways. Well, let me tell you about my dad. He um, is a character, he's a goof, he's funny, he's sincere. Um, he is that dad that your friends when you were little thought was cool. He's the one that is, is there every time I need anybody for my son. Um, I have a son that's disabled and anytime anything has ever happened, he's been the one that has been there. I think Elle's best quality probably is the love he has for his family, his friends, his kids, his grandkids. Whether it was being Elvis in grade school music show the PTA put on or being your kids' bowling coach, he was just the cool dad. Music has played a big part in our our life, our family life. It's always been there ever since I ever first met Al. He was stationed out in Fort Carson, Colorado. He had brought his guitar out and then after uh, we were married, he had his folks bring his accordion and he, he always was playing music for just me even. Of course, music was always a thing with the family. I was always trying to get the kids to sing and stuff like that and play with me. and and we just, you know, played music and sang. When my dad plays, he lights up. You can see the light in him, you can see his color. You can just, you can tell he lives for that music. And I see the people out there dancing and, and clapping and, and, you know, try to relate to everybody. And uh, uh, I just get carried away with it and you forget everything then, you know. Once you get into the, you get into the spirit, you forget all your pains. That's what keeps Elle going. It's always been a big part of Elle as long as we've known him. When um, they announced Dad had pancreatic cancer at the Eagles, where we play, um, everybody really seriously, I believe, has been rallying around. My life was off and on. I mean, for 10, 12 years, I've had stomach pains. I was asked to evaluate the case to see if there was anything else anything else that we could offer uh, to get Al a diagnosis. Uh, and fortunately, uh, I, we had the SPI-DS available uh, and I, I thought it would be an appropriate use to try and get uh, a diagnosis using the SPI-DS system. Before Al got diagnosed uh, with cancer, he was very frustrated. Uh, he hurt a lot and Every, everything that he complained about, the doctors tried to figure out what it was. Nobody could, nobody could pinpoint anything. He, he had uh, gallbladder removed. He had, they told him it could be uh, acid reflux, but nothing seemed to, to pinpoint what was going on with him. I had a suspicion that uh, if this were in fact a malignancy or a cancer that it was going to involve that main pancreatic duct and if I could evaluate the pancreatic duct endoscopically and acquire tissue with directed biopsies that we'd be able to get a definitive diagnosis for Al. I went to Dr. Schaefer and he used this new technique and uh, uh, he found it and that, that you know I'm, I'm happy I don't care for the results but you know it's best I can get, so you know, at least I know now. Finding out that dad had cancer, that they found the cancer cells, in my opinion, gave him a sense of relief, as ironic as it sounds, because now there is an answer. It's hard for patients, and it's hard for doctors, to discuss with patients that we don't know exactly what's going on, and, we, and because we don't know what's going on, we can't treat you. The peace of mind of knowing what's wrong with them offers them a lot, I think. Now he knows what's wrong with him. Now he knows they can do chemo to try to shrink that tumor. Um, now he knows exactly what it is and we're not waiting, waiting for something to happen. I'm hoping that there's hope and there's hope for others and that everything that our loved ones are going through, that it will bring knowledge and, and help others. If someone that you love is complaining about, you know, things that they can't figure out what's wrong and the doctor can't figure out what's wrong, 
Don't just let it go. Just keep in there. Just keep pushing your doctors and, and, and don't give up hope.